Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Pixie Cupcakes. So Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I wanted to make some cupcakes that are fitting for the occasion. So today I'm going to show you how to make some two-tone buttercream rose cupcakes complete with an edible leaf. These are actually really easy to make when you know how and they'll make the perfect gift for that someone special in your life. So this is everything you're going to need to make the cupcakes. I am going to be using my vanilla sponge recipe for the base and my go-to vanilla buttercream frosting. If you want me to upload a tutorial on my recipe and method for those, just let me know in the comments box below. So we're going to be starting off with some modeling paste, which I've colored green um, using Sugar Flares Foliage Green Extra. The brand for the modeling paste I used, I think was Saracino. You're going to need your rolling pin, um, your leaf cutters, so these are from PME and they do. They usually come in three sizes and we're just going to be using the, the middle size today. And then your paintbrush and some edible dust and I'm using the brand Sugar Flower Sugar Art in the colour Rainforest. You're going to need your piping bag and nozzle, so the nozzle is a Wilton 2D. You're also going to need your small angled palette knife and then some edible paste co colours to colour the buttercream frosting. And I'm using Sugar Flare and I'm using the colours Burgundy, Red Extra, Skin Tone, Deep Purple and Grape Violet. So we are going to start off by making our edible leaves. So you want to take some of your green coloured modelling paste and then you want to roll that out to about a millimetre thick. Okay, so once that's rolled out, you want to take your your leaf plunge cutter and just cut out of that your pieces. Make sure when you put it down, you really push hard on the plunger to make sure that all of the detail in the leaf come out. So it looks like that. So once you've got those cut out, um, this is totally optional not now because they look fine as they are, they look really good. But if you just want to add a little bit more detail, this is when you take your edible um, dust. So if you just take a small amount of the dust and paint that into the centre of the leaf and then go out slightly into the veins of the, of the leaf. There we go, so it just adds a bit more depth to the leaf. And then do that for the remaining ones. Okay, there we are. So once you've done that, you can just leave those to dry for a bit. Um, and then we can move on to making the buttercream frosting. So I've got my buttercream here and I've divided it between four bowls. And I've coloured each um, the different colours. So this one's burgundy, we've got the skin tone, deep purple and the great violet. I didn't end up using the... Um, the red shade in the end. So I'm just going to stick with these ones. So what I'm going to do is I've rolled out um, a layer of cling film and if I just take, I'm going to start off doing the, the, the pinky coloured cupcakes and move these out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the palette knife and put this on there. And then I'm going to put a thin layer of this. Okay, so we've got that which was a bit difficult because my cling film was slippering all over the place. And then what we want to do is put a layer of the middle colour, so I'm using the skin tone here, and put that in the centre. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. And then basically what you're going to do is just fold this over so that it meets the other end. And then roll it up and twist either end. Okay, there we are. And then what we want to do is insert that into our piping bag. So we've got that attached with the 2D attachment. And we're going to snip the end off and then pop it in the piping bag. Here we are, and then we're just going to do that for the other one as well. So to pipe your buttercream rose, start in the centre of the cupcake and move your round, way around to the outside of the cupcake, slightly overlapping the previous swirl and then move away at the end. So once we've got our buttercream rose, the last thing to do is add our edible leaf that we made earlier. So if you just pop one of those and put it in the, the area where the, you left off with the buttercream frosting. And there we go. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you do want to see more videos, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button.